Welcome to Rauda's Grainy Rainy Autumn Indie 5. Yes, the daylight is pretty much gone and I am doing this, well, when it's already too great. So pardon the image quality, but you're not really to look my face, but maybe to see these five indie releases, uh, well, more or less. And uh, these are of various styles. We have one death metal one, black metal one, symphonic black metal one, uh, metalcore slash groove metal, and then a compilation of extreme metal. Let's go in alphabetical order once again, and this time I'll try to remember some of the lyrics. Let's start with Death Commander, which is of international lineup. Uh, basically, this band was more or less founded in Scotland, but later on the band expanded to having members of various countries, such as Germany and uh, Switzerland or something like that. Uh, and this is the debut album called Pro Patria Mori, uh, something like uh, to die for your, I don't know, homeland. Roughly, give or take. Uh, this one is a death metal band uh, that comes with war lyrics. Themes are war, especially the wor first world war. And since the music is kind of a mid-tempo death metal, one could say this is a kind of a ball thrower successor in so many ways. Much as like... Um, the actual Pontover band, uh, cover band, not cover band, but follow-up band, uh, Memorium. So, this is it. A very plain and simple CD release. Mid-tempo death metal, growl vocals, a little bit melodies here and there. Definitely going to same path as Pontover. Unfortunately, while these guys know to, you know, make basic death metal, working glass death metal, if you will, um, these... Songs are not as good as Ball Thrower, even with their weakest ones. I mean, the idea is pretty much the same. It's much like these guys are almost uh, copying and the ideas, but lacking those really, really killer riffs and melodies. No, this doesn't mean this is a bad album. It's more like kind of a lukewarm experience. Growly vocals are quite okay. The production is somewhat like, okay, not really good and strong, but not weak either. And the songs, well... With 49 minutes or so, it's kind of easy to go through, but it feels feels like a little bit too much. And those lyrics, they're actually pretty sweet. Kind of a basic, bold throw risk uh, type of war metal lyrics, but nothing out of ordinary. Uh, definitely waiting for the band to mature a, a little bit more, like progress and evolve. But we're checking out if you're a big bold thrower fan, such as yours truly. Then we have a new band from Sweden called Hex Chapel. Uh, with the album, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Eldrumer, something like that. Hex Chapel or Hex Kapel <laughs> means more like um, Chapel of the Witch. Uh, something like that, or Witch Chapel. And this is, uh, as far as I could tell, a very, very recent band with uh, only one man lineup. And uh, basically, this is very, very Swedish sounding uh, black metal band featuring a lot of uh, kind of uh, Swedish elements, if you will. Whether we're talking about uh, the melodies or certain kind of riffs or even those folkier elements having violin and acoustic guitars, everything kind of smells very, very Swedish here. Uh, the lyrics are also Swedish, so can't really comment them. Uh, this is very fresh from the open, by the way, whereas this, the Dead Commander is from early 2021 in CD version. This is actually late October release. To be honest, quite a good release. The music is quite catchy. It's uh, versatile enough to uh, offer moments that it doesn't really go just with one track and repeat itself, but more like, okay, now this comes with the violin, okay, now there are acoustic guitars, now there's more grim riffing and all that stuff. Kind of like a 1990s stuff, especially the uh, Norwegian and Swedish type of black metal. Quite cool, in fact. Not great, but good. And then we have a band coming from Malta. This one is Marturium with the album called Lamia Satanica. It's the fifth album by the band. Now, mind you, there are lots of bands with the same name, Marturium, even uh, quite a few black metal ones. So this is the Maltese one. And uh, this one is a tricky thing. This is kind of like uh, copying the ideas of Dimu Borgi and uh, Cradle of Filth. So kind of a symphonic, very, very synth synthesizer-driven black metal with female growls 
with or shrieks actually they're kind of a high pitchy not danny field of cradle of field style but still and then you have um lots of synthesizers even so much that it feels like uh the guitars are more on the background just to do their stuff but the focus is definitely on the keyboards and it seems like uh, the keyboard player is so much dominating the whole game it becomes more like a keyboard album rather than anything else and then we have a drummer who is a pro not by name but also his playing style and it feels like it's lacking dynamics it's kind of a horrible because it really sounds like a drum machine which is kind of annoying it seems like ta -ta 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 no changes no dynamics it's kind of a horrible compared that to nick barker of cradle field and you'll feel the difference also what is kind of a funny with this synths is that this sounds kind of a, like peculiar demo band from the 1990s i was just listening to cradle field's dusk for a classic review and man even though that album came late 1990s it feels so much more modern than this one this is more like the early 1990s that is three de three decades ago and this got quite horrible the female vocalist of which she's performing the first time here like she does decent job and production apart from the uh, synths and drums is quite okay but songwriting is so cheesy and the lyrics feel like like a lot of nonsense there are kind of a mythological creature the basic satanic thing Baal, Lamia, things these mythological creatures are mentioned and then guys kind of a evil edgelord lyrics not super bad but I can't really say I enjoyed them quite horrible album to be honest no offense uh, then we have a band from Spain uh, called Morphium with the album called The Fall it seems like this band at least according to metal archives started certain kind of a death metal band and started to evolve towards groove metal and metalcore I don't know if that was a right decision but man this band sounds very very pro that is the production is like wow you're really nailing it now unfortunately for the music <laughs> can't really say that I mean this is not like able to decide whether they want to play metalcore groove metal death metal or just you know mess it up all together uh, it's much like a spanish version of five finger dead punch at some point it's something so cheesy like having those clean vocals with the growly vocals and not able to decide which way to go i mean do you want to be an extreme metal band or do you want to be a metalcore band like which kind of audience are you trying to appeal i mean you really can't do both with these growly vocals you're certainly kind of gonna just uh make the people go away who want just clean vocals and with clean vocals with you know you're not really appealing to death metal vocals uh production wise so great this is really really sounding badass and totally nailing it but when it comes to songs this is really really mediocre one uh, and you know as you can pretty much uh, see the band is more focusing on their zombie like images rather than lyrics so you can't really comment what's said inside except for this thank you list um yeah i can only recommend this to people who actually like five finger dead punch this is quite mediocre apart from the production and then last but not least we go to estonia with tabathian forest a fortress which is a compilation of estonian extreme metal bands here we have the full uh band and track list so there are lots of uh, name which i don't know that is all of them nine bands nine songs and none of them are something that i'm familiar with and given that i've reviewed past 20 years or so some i don't know six thousand albums or so it's kind of funny to find these kind of new bands uh, every week this is some 40 minutes of estonian uh, black and death metal some are more death focused some are more black focused and some are kind of a black and death nothing out of ordinary each uh, band comes with a photo and the logo and the lyrics which is pretty sweet if you're looking for some new bands and you want to you know read about them you want to see about them you want to see their logos and all that stuff if you're into estonian uh, extreme metal scene this is a kind of a cool way to get to know them i mean these kind of compilations were the shit back in the 1990s when you didn't have spotify or youtube or things like that to find out new bands so you got compilations and to find new bands demo level or album album level bands this was the kind of a deal here now in that respect i really must say i like this now music wise this is quite a lot okay uh to be honest none of these bands are exactly great but they're very very listenable the 
a couple of weaker tracks, which I really didn't enjoy that much, but I don't want to pick them out here and, you know, make them, you know, the target of ridicule because they're not that bad. And this is compilation, so you can't just decide based on one song, like which one is the best and all that stuff. Let's say it's worth your listening to, especially if you're into black metal and death metal and you're looking for, uh, find something new out of Estonia, this Tarbathian Fortress is definitely your cup of tea. But if you don't like compilations, obviously quite the difference. Uh, if I had to choose winner here, it would be easily be Hex Chapel from Sweden. This is the only good one here. The others are more or less decent or just bad, like this uh, Mar Martyrium one. So there you have uh, five different albums, five different styles, I guess, or even more if you count into that compilation. Uh, check, it, check it out. You will find links provided in the description box. I hope you will like at least some of them. Take care and bye-bye.